Janice, the new head of Australia's biggest bank, is quite well respected within the industry, although there are questions about whether he can really change the culture within the bank. Matt Common is just 42 years of age and joined CBA in 1999. A week before the bank unveils its half-year profit result came this much-anticipated announcement. The appointment of Matt Common as the new chief executive of the Commonwealth Bank. Ending months of speculation and an internal and external search to find a replacement for current CEO Ian Arev after six years at the helm. I've worked very closely with Matt Common for nearly ten years and he is going to be an exceptional chief executive. Matt Common, although he's well regarded internally and externally, he's been at the bank since he was 24. Raising questions about his suitability to change the culture at the bank. An external candidate would have probably brought a fresh renewal to the executive team. But I'm absolutely committed to working with the board and the executive team to addressing the current legal and regulatory and, and reputational issues that we're facing. Mr Common has held positions across the bank's divisions, more recently heading its retail banking unit since 2012. There's no doubt that Commonwealth Bank is Australia's most profitable bank and it has the biggest market share in terms of retail and I think he's going to do a great job there. The other part though is a little bit more difficult and that's the corporate governance part. Given that he was the head of the retail bank when these Austrac allegations occurred, it's really about restoring trust. He'll also need to navigate external challenges. Banking is in a, going through a period of significant technology and competitive change. And I'm excited to be able to lead the organisation as we prepare for the next phase. No doubt excited too about his generous remuneration package, while less than the current CEO amounts to a potential $8.4 million. The appointment comes on the same day all banks are due to submit their documented mistakes to the Banking Royal Commission. Well, we've seen a number of scandals now for the banks and they encompass all sorts of different areas like superannuation, uh, funds management, um, financial planning. So really for the banks, it's going to be a shake-up of culture and also the way they do business. And Matt Common starts on April 9th. Shares in the Commonwealth Bank finish nearly two-thirds of a percent higher today.